All right, just got off of work. Eight hours of glorious grocery work. And I need to go stop off a couple of places before I get home and get to work on things. Thought I'd show you the camera there because we haven't seen a whole lot of blue sky lately. And it's nice to see it. It rained all day today. But it is supposed to stop now. We're supposed to be done. It's gorgeous out here today. Holy smokes. All right, first stop, um, probably trustworthy's for, you guessed it, a tarp. So we're going to stop and get a tarp. I have to head over to the feed store in Kenai and pick up a bag of food for the Reds. And I need to get busy, uh, maybe Sunday build that new nesting box for the coop so the uh, the Australorps will be able to get into the big coop because they're just about they're big enough now they really are and then on the way back I have to stop off at SBS and pick up a box of number eight uh, ring shank nails this for a nail gun. Because on the way home, I'm stopping and picking up a nail gun. Uh, I'm not buying one. Ward, my buddy Ward's going to help me um, on the decking of the uh, subfloor because uh, it's it's an easier job for two people. And so he said, well, shoot, I just finished using my nail gun at a job. You swing by and pick it up, so I'll pick up his nail gun, his compressor. I'll pick up the ring shake nails, and then uh, Ward will show up tomorrow, and him and I will knock that out. So maybe I'll have to pull out an extra steak, grill up Ward in New York. And I'm tired. <laughs> End of the week. Oh. Son of a gun. Oh. All right, enough looking at me. Looks like we got a pretty good downpour while I was gone. So I got a lot to get done uh, today. Uh, tomorrow we're throwing the tongue and groove on the subfloor. So I need to make sure everything's nailed off. I need to make sure all the blocking's done. I need to make sure that I'm nailed together everywhere I need to be nailed together. And uh, I'm going to do the same technique I did the last time. Measure them all out, write them all down, check them off as I cut them, uh, and then go ahead and, and install them. But I'm going to install them with screws um, instead of hammers or instead of nails. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because, it, again, it's not, a, uh, it's not a sheer issue with those. It's just an issue of stopping the, the floor joists from twisting. So I, don't, I ran up by uh, Ward and he said, yeah, no problem, it'll work. Ward will be here tomorrow to give me a hand doing... The sheeting, um, I was going to try and do it by myself. He goes, dude, it's, a, it's really a two-man job. I mean, it, it, one person can do it if, it, you know, I've, I've obviously shown one person could do a lot by themselves, but he's not doing anything anyway, and he said he'd love to come over and help. So I've got his nail gun. I've got his compressor. I will probably be using both. I'm going to use that to nail off everything on the beams. Uh, but yeah, I gotta get started and get this going. And you may hear an occasional airplane. I don't know what this guy's doing. We have a, I've got a local runway over here. And by local runway, I mean a dirt track that people land their planes on all the time. Um, and he's been running around left and right with that. He's been landing and taking off and landing and taking off. And, and it's windier than all get out here today too. So I don't know what he's, what he's trying to do. <laughs> we did have rain today, as you can tell by some puddles. Um, it's not that bad. Most of it looks like it's already drained off uh, and it's gone. The clouds, the, the storm system's out of the way. Tomorrow is supposed to be a dry day as well, but I still need to get a tarp for this. I, that's the one thing I forgot to do in town today, was pick up that tarp. Um, but yeah, I think I shall get busy and get this thing started. So one thing I decided after uh, nailing in the end pieces down there um, and watching how much it bowed was that I am not going to put the end pieces in here yet. Uh, I'll wait until I get the floor pretty much secured. Um, 
and we get the decking on top of it and once the decking's on top of it i'll come in i'll come back through and i'll, I'll put the center piece in because then i'll be able to make sure that i don't bow it out again also something to add here is that this is going to be the porch on the front of the house um, I'm going to wait until I get this decking done because I need to go get the lumber for that. I didn't, I didn't uh, calculate the lumber that I would need for that when I did this. So it's going to be five and a half feet off of the edge of this total uh, and it's going to run across the whole thing. So there'll be a whole front porch all the way across. Five and a half feet gives me enough room for a little rail, nice chair. I could throw my barbecue in on the side, uh, and, you know, inclement weather. Hopefully I'll have some kind of a roof over the top of it. Um, I, I'll be able to sit outside and enjoy it, breezy nights like this. So yeah, that, that'll happen. Um, that will actually happen before I frame the rest of the house. Uh, and I'll, I'll run the OSB this way as opposed to running it this way. So before I get the whole house framed in, this will be here because I'll need to cut some stairs in to get up and down as well. I haven't decided where the door is going to go yet. If I'm going to go center on the door, or if I'm going to go left or right, kind of leaning towards going a little bit on the left side so it's not right in the center because there's going to be a big window right here anyway. So.
That was monotonous. <laughs> yeah. I'm very satisfied with this though. Let me show you what this road looked like. Pretty awesome, huh? I mean, right down the line, pretty, quite a bit more accurate than that first section was that I did. See how out of whack that is down there. But this is pretty darn lined up and this is pretty darn lined up as well. Very sweet. All right, I'm gonna put the screws in these uh, and get that done since I have them. Um, and it's four screws each on both sides. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get that done and then that will be locked in as well. Uh, matter of fact, I might as well do that right now. That'll be the easiest thing to do. Tired too. It's tired too. Oh. <sighs> Even the battery's tired. Just have enough. Don't sound good.
nice. By the way, thank you, Jerry. <laughs> Canadian sent along uh, a little care package uh, for some DeWalt extras and essentials, and, and in that package was a couple of the four hour batteries. Very cool, very cool. All right, I'm beat. Um, it is, my day started at well, 2.30 this morning. And it is 6.30 at night. So I am going to call it a day. I'll clean some stuff up here. I don't think we have to worry about rain. I'll double check the forecast just in case. But uh, I'll still wrap up the saw and that kind of stuff. Um, and then tomorrow morning, Ward will be here uh, to give me a hand putting these sheets of OSB tongue and groove on top and getting us to the next level. Also, tomorrow is a delivery of uh, lumber for framing. And uh, I have to answer a bunch of comments and stuff on the YouTube video. So thank you guys for watching. I uh, don't know if the video is going to end here or not. If it does end here, um, you know, by all means, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you think I'm an idiot, tell me I'm an idiot. If you think I'm doing awesome, tell me I'm doing awesome. If you're meh, then just leave meh. <laughs> and if it doesn't end here, what will end up happening is you'll see me tomorrow morning standing out here with a cup of coffee, getting ready to uh, get busy on the top of the decking. I'm Sean in Alaska. I did that with three screws extra. Wait for my buddy Ward to show up. I told him originally seven o'clock, but after working as long as I did and as late as I did yesterday, I didn't get up until about five this morning. I like to have my morning coffee time. <laughs> get caught up on videos and get caught up on comments and that kind of stuff. So today we're cutting into that. We were laying all of the subfloor uh, for the cabin on the floor joists. I got everything blocked yesterday. I got all the brackets screwed in. The only thing I didn't do was nail off the uh, the final nails to the to the uh, beams and we'll do that when more gets here this morning hopefully. Hopefully I got the right nails for that. I should. <laughs> 